Hi, I've got a net galliard to talk to you about today and it comes out on the 2nd of March and it's The Writing Retreat by Julia Buds. Um, the premise of this sounded fantastic. I, it was just it looked as though this was going to be one of the books that ticked all of my boxes. You've got um, an acclaimed horror writer, <coughs> Rosa Vallo, and she's inviting um, five would-be writers to her island to her a, a month-long writing retreat. So you are, we've got the five writers and Rosa on this island. All right, so it sounded absolutely perfect. Um, the idea is that by being cut off for a month, these would-be writers, they'd have nothing to distract them and they would just be able to write and she would be able to mentor them. Um, so it sounded perfect. Um, our narrator is Alex and she is in a mess. She's in a mess. She had this really close friend, Ren, and the two girls were inseparable. And then they had this fallout and it's left Alex in a total mess. And so when she wins a place on this retreat, she's over the moon because she has been a fan of this horror writer since she was 13. She has devoured everything she's written. Um, and so she's on cloud nine until she finds out that Wren has also got a place on the retreat. So her joy turns to anxiety. So when she gets to this retreat, she tries to ally herself with the other three girls there. You've got Taylor, Kiara and Poppy so that she doesn't feel an outsider. So she can get to them before Ren does and almost, you know, get a, um, Alex's camp and Ren's camp, that type of thing. So that's the premise. Rosa's techniques for encouraging these writers are extreme to say the least. They have to, um, they can't work on an existing novel that they're writing. They have got to start a brand new novel and finish it by the end of the month. That's the first thing they've got to start from scratch. They have got to write 3000 words a day and print them off and give them to Rosa by midnight. Fail to do that and you're kicked off the retreat. So you've got this pressure the whole time. But the winner will get their novel published and because it's published with um, Rosa, you're talking six figures, you're going to be made. The house has got its own secrets, uh, dark secrets, and Alex seems to be tapping into these in her story. And you've got everything looking as though it's going to be a tense read. And for the first 75, 80% you there. And then to me, it just goes off on a tangent because you, you have people disappearing and it just starts to get a little bizarre and almost too bizarre for me. You've got twists and turns and the ending, it seems to be wrapped up very, very easily, even though you've got all these twists and turns. And on top of this, you've got very, very graphic sexual encounters. Um, it promised so much. And uh, when I started reading it, I was totally hooked. And then it seemed to take a tangent. Um, so... I, I don't know. I love the setting. I love the idea. The character of Rosa was, I love that character. But the ending and the conclusion didn't quite meet up to my expectations. I, I know it's looking at sort of Goodreads and stuff. It's got a lot of five, five stars. Maybe I'm in, I, I might be the minority. But it would be interesting to see what you guys make of it. So that's the writing retreat and it comes out on the 2nd of March. So happy reading. Take care. Thank you.